Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this tilt angle headrest lumbar support. Er ergonomic swivel chair looks pretty good here in the Amazon listing, only around $70. And yeah, uh, what we see, of course, it doesn't have any kind of armrest cushion, but apart from that, it looks really fancy if you don't need that it could be definitely something for you so i bought it and i did the unboxing and i tested it and so i'm letting you know how this worked so i was wearing the camera and i hope i can show you some pictures this is the box how it came and yeah so of course you have to open it you have to take it out of the bubble wrap so it was nicely packaged all the single pieces in bubble wrap so there was a lot of things and here we see the screws and ball i mean yes screws there are i think no nuts but we get actually everything that's the good thing we don't have to buy our equipment and we get even these to hex drivers i think whatsoever uh, but at least they fit for all these screws and in the back we have nice instructions uh, maybe i um, yeah, i'll be able to show you that here all the parts the bottom the seat the uh, mounting let's go a little bit uh, further here so do put in these wheels or rolls or whatsoever was pretty easy if you take two hands for each wheel it definitely shouldn't be a problem but just make sure that you have some cardboard or some protection underneath that uh, it will protect the floor and also the chair when you assemble that and you can also already put this shock absorber into the bottom part yeah so here we have this mounting uh, it has all the basic functions it has some settings for the rocker and uh, height uh, adjustment and yeah whatever is needed and yeah swiveling is really nicely i mean also the rolls work really good for that cheap price we cannot complain and the good thing in the back on the screws we have these numbers and these numbers fit to the instruction manual where we have also exactly these numbers so you know which uh, screws you have to press out to the back side and of course also the hex drivers or whatsoever and i would highly recommend to not to take out all the screws at the same time so yeah that prevents from mixing up it's definitely advised to just take them out when they are needed so we start i think yeah i can't remember i think it was number one but i'm not sure i think it goes really from number one then two three four five six seven something like that this is also a good thing then we have to prepare the seat uh, or the back i think we start with the back and of course you yeah, as far as possible make sure that you don't scratch it it's a really nice one looking absolutely good so here we have it yeah also the seat here yeah by the way the yeah here as you can see the user manual is attached to the uh, bottom plate i mean to the seat here so first i was shocked and i thought yeah there's no manual inside but there is and actually it's a good thing it's very easy it also describes all the parts and it is an yeah, assembly in only four steps actually we have four pictures step one step two and then on the next side two more pictures that's it only four simple pictures the only 
bad thing is that the pictures are really small and even the the numbers even smaller so if you are wearing glasses probably you even need an additional magnifying glass or something like that so it was crazy so how small it is it's a little bit bad i mean there's not enough space the booklet is really big i mean it comes in different languages but it would have been really nice to have a little bit uh, larger numbers i really was struggling with these numbers numbers of the screws and numbers of the parts so that's the first thing we have to attach the first armrest to the back part yeah you have to make sure that you have the right one on the right side and the right angle make sure that the outside is outside inside is inside then you take the number i think it's number one screw but i'm not 100 percent sure or there are even two different screws i think i already mixed them up so make sure that you have the right screws otherwise you could definitely damage your chair i think i already mixed it up on the first piece very embarrassing yeah of course it was a little bit difficult when you wear the camera in front of you yeah you see i had to take it out so also make sure when you secure the screws first time do not fully secure them you have to make sure they go in most of the way but not really fully 100 percent fully secure it's always advised to just secure it a little bit everything and at the very end when everything is matching then fully secure everything so this is the second armrest then also very well um, packaged and this comes to this side it's really nice how they did this so it, it's very easy to align so really nice thing here of course it was a little bit difficult with the camera and only one person so it's highly advised not to use a camera and second thing maybe if you have somebody to hold your armrest while you're putting in the screws that definitely helps by the way overall the time which i needed was about 20 minutes i had a little bit of break in between so i think the real time working on it was about 20 minutes so i used this drill just make sure that you're using a really low number i don't know the name in english but you using a two one two or three or something like that it is much better uh, otherwise i mean these drills can be uh, almost too strong and you could damage such things so next thing is the the seat actually it has to go inside so uh, just make sure you have the right screws for the seat we have three different screws we have uh, i think two times the five here then we have six and then seven something like that you have to be really careful because the thing is the thickness of the seat is not the same everywhere here it's much thicker than here and especially here if you're using the longest screws in the back you could actually uh, penetrate the surface of the seat so it could definitely be damaged so make sure that you reserve enough time and do not do this uh, in a real rush but most of it worked really good not much to see here but actually with the drill it worked pretty good and also same thing here just do uh, start with just a little bit securing the screws and only at the very end do uh, yeah fully secure them yeah as you can see here we have the different screws also it's a little bit difficult to see on the drawing because the seat is on most of the pictures it's upside down that makes it even worse i mean you can put the booklet upside down but then it's hard to read everything 
I really don't know why they did that so the instructions are quite hard to read I mean the assembly actually is super easy if they made these instructions a little bit easier then it would have been much easier so now last thing this is to attach the actual mount of the seat so this one here and that's actually the easiest part of the whole thing so you have to just make sure that you are not mixing up the front to the back so yeah here and the good thing you can use you don't have to use a drill or something like that that fits really super easy here it's really the easiest part everything is very well visible screws fit really well so i did this just by hand that was the easiest thing here so yeah and also finally secured them i think with the drill at the end and even with the normal hex driver manually at the very end yeah so you here can you see here um yeah i would definitely recommend to check all the screws manually again with this hex driver and then the mounting of the seat i mean upper part to the lower part i first tried to yeah you put the seat on top of the uh the things on the wheels but i think this works much better if you put down the upper part and then attach the wheels so that worked definitely much better for me so and here we are no big deal uh, already finished nice uh yeah this neck rest which can be adjusted or head rest head support it's a really nice thing really contemporary um yeah quite narrow but uh if you're not waiting 300 pounds shouldn't be a problem yeah swiveling really nicely going up nicely so here i've made a few extra pictures from all the sides and i have to admit everything is looking good i didn't damage anything so that's a good thing i have i can remember that i had already some chairs which i damaged while during the assembly not nothing here but you have to be really careful to use the right screws on the right place otherwise of course there could be problems yeah yeah everything is really good i mean the rocking you can uh, yeah move it back and forth you can up down uh, everything uh, also this adjustment works really good the, it's nicely rolling around so at least at the moment everything works really good it looks like stable it is comfortable also the back the seating the everything the cushion be aware of that there is absolutely no cushion on the armrest but the armrests are a little bit rather low which makes it actually comfortable still without the armrest it's really surprising uh yeah i wouldn't like if they were higher without the arm without the cushion so since they are low without the cushion it's much easier and they are yeah i really like them nice style nice everything good price so far so yeah my full recommendation and i will put down the link into the description so you can check it out and order it if you really like it from there yeah that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time